You know, guys, when I look at the collage posters for the covers 253 to 256 and 284 to 287 of the Shadow World Crisis arc, I look at a beginning and an end, but I also look at full part story arcs within that main story arc as being their own individual stories. Now, you could take the main story arc itself, throw it to the side, and nothing would be infected. The same could go with several of the story arcs in Sonic Universe, like Spark of Life, the Nicole Origin story arc. You take away the fact that it's associated with the Shadow World Crisis arc, and it feels like it's its own individually contained story. The reason I bring all this up is because recently I watched the three-part review of Secret Empire from atop the fourth wall. And Linkara's main problem with that story arc wasn't the fact that the writers decided to take everything about Captain America that was cool and was made to represent America by the original creators and throw it back in their faces along with the fans' faces and have it revealed that Captain America is really a Hydra agent and then basically make it revealed later on at the end that oh it's just another alternate reality deal and the person that caused it has to come and fix it because they thought they were doing the right thing and they found out they weren't because they got duped. If there was one problem with that story arc that Lewis Linkara had wasn't just that it was the padding. The padding that made Secret Empire unnecessarily long. And you know why I bring this up? Because the same, as crazy as it sounds, can be associated with the Metal Virus Zombot arc. Which, officially, the main portion of it, the main meat of it, came to an end this past Wednesday, July 22nd. And here's the thing. There's nothing wrong with putting some padding into a story to make it go a little longer as long as it's done right and it's done in a way that keeps people interested. It doesn't, it doesn't basically, what's the word I'm looking for? It doesn't basically cause them to walk away. It doesn't cause them to put the book down and throw it in the trash or burn it. It keeps them interested it keeps them around it keeps them wanting more and more and more i mean this is why when you look back at the mecca sally arc which almost has been like a decade since that started next year when you look back at that arc you want to know why some people didn't like it if not most people didn't like it it wasn't the fact that you basically had sally become a freaking mindless mechanized weaponized robot and try to justify it by, oh, she sacrificed herself. No. The reason some people didn't like it, it was basically repetitive. It was rinse and repeat issue after issue. And the only thing you would do, the only thing they would do, I should say, every now and then, is try to give you shock value by having a character surprised to see what happened to Sally, or, or this, or that. And it just, Besides that, it just became repetitive. The same could be looked at with the Metal Virus Zombot arc. The reason it went for so long was because it was padded out for, to do so, but it was done in a way that made it repetitive. I mean, sure, a lot of people may have liked it, but I'm sure those people would agree that it could have been enjoyed even more so if it wasn't padded out to be so long. And when I heard, and you know, honestly, when I heard Louis Linkara bring that up in his three-part review of Secret Empire, <laughs> I was like, this is exactly, I was like basically in my mind, ladies and gentlemen, I was like, this is exactly how a lot of people felt about the Metal Virus Zombot arc. This is how a lot of people felt about the Mecha Sally arc. Heck, this is how some people felt about the Shadow World Crisis arc. That it didn't necessarily need to be so long. You could have condensed it. Gotten to the certain bullet points you needed to get to. And the certain moments you wanted to show. And be done with it. You didn't have to pat it out to be so long. But that is what Ian Flynn and those that helped him with that story did. 
They padded it out to be too freaking long. And I guarantee you, if someone was to Patreon that story arc for Linkara to read in the future, even Linkara, Lewis Lovehog, would say the same thing about it that he said about Secret Empire. It was repetitive, and it was padded out, and it shouldn't have been. I mean, again, I'm not against people that liked the arc. I'm not. If you enjoyed it, fine, more power to you. If you were in the middle of it, like you were kind of both liking it and not liking it, fine. And if you didn't like it, <laughs> hey, more power to you as well. The point is, you gotta go and watch Secret Empire, the three part review by Linkara at a top the fourth wall. And when you hear him right off the bat get to the point of the story being padded out to be too long, You'll relate to it. You will relate to it when it came, when it comes to the Metal Virus Zomba arc, the Mecha Sally arc, and even the Shadow World Crisis arc. You will get to that, you will get to a relation to it and be like, I understand where you're coming from, Lewis, because we just went through that ourselves with the IDW Sonic comic. And you shouldn't have to. I mean, look, I'm not arguing and saying that you know padding doesn't help a story you know you know be enjoyable it doesn't help a story get to certain points that it has to but only if it's done right you can't keep padding something out if you're going to be repetitive i'm sure that one of the things linkara got pissed about when it came to the padding of secret empire was the fact that there were moments that it was repetitive and it shouldn't have been the thing is, if you want to do a long story arc that's going to go maybe up to a year, if not more so, and you have to use padding to make it go long, fine. But do it right. Do it to where it keeps the investment of the reader. Don't do it where it's rinse and repeat of something that was done before and you only throw in certain moments for shock value. Don't do that. Do it, that, do it in a way that keeps the reader invested. That's how you do it. I mean, the reason people weren't complaining about this is that basically throughout this arc, which ran from 252 to 287, 35 months, if you will, two and a half years, the reason people didn't, you know, whine about that, despite the fact that it was softly retconning, rebooting everything, is because each story, whether it was four parts, two, two parts, three parts, felt like their own individual story. There was no rinsing repeat. There's no re there was no padding out. Yes, it was part of one major story arc, and that could be looked at as padding, but it was done in a way to where if it was, it made it more enjoyable because every story arc felt like its own story, whether it was two or four parts. And like I said before, and I'll say again, the Sonic Universe spin-off, the Sonic Universe comic book, which was a spin-off of the main book, Spark of Life, that four-part story arc in the core origin story, to me is another good example of, hey, it's part of this major arc that you could look at look at as being padded out, out for being too long, but you look at the stories themselves, especially like that, and you could say to yourself, hey, this feels like it's its own thing. It doesn't feel like it's connected. It feels like its own individual story and we can move on to something new. That, that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you pad out a story correctly. You pad out one major arc correctly. You don't do it where it's repetitive, you know, issue after issue. And once in a while you throw in a shock value moment. You do it in a way that keeps people invested. You want Linkara, Marvel? If Marvel Comics wants to get on Linkara and say, hey, can you give us a better review? Here's Linkara. Linkara's gonna be like, oh yeah, I'll give you a better review of Secret Empire if you condense it. And that's why when people look at the Metal Virus Zombot arc, again, more power to you, whether you liked it, you're in the middle about it, or you didn't like it, the one thing obviously they will agree with 
was it was padded out and it went too long and basically it should have just gotten to the certain points that it needed to get to and the moments it needed to get to to get the point and the message of the story arc across that's about it that is about it and I think everybody watching this knows that so that's all I'm gonna really say guys I suggest Checking out Lankara's Secret Empire three-part review on the top of the fourth wall here on YouTube. It's great. You will get exactly where he's coming from when he talks about the padding right off the bat. Because you'll be like, yeah, I can relate with you on that, Lankara. But that's all I'm going to say, guys. Let me know what you think down below. Comment if you like. I'm out.